Hey guys, today I'm going to be testing out the new Sonnet 1 million model inside Claude Code with my context engineering template. Now, the idea here is that this has such a ridiculous amount of context that I'm really going to push Sonnet to just keep going. I think I will eventually make an MCP for this, but I'm just going to test this with prompting for now. So, you've probably watched these videos before with the context engineering intro, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm on my Mac, so apologies if the sound quality is not as good as normal. But yeah, basically this process is pretty damn simple. So let's just start the terminal actually. And we'll say cd dot dot, cd dot dot, and then we'll do mkd context engineering, and then git clone, paste it, and then put a full stop. That's not a full stop. Okay, that's a cd first. So now we have the context engineering template. If you do ls and you see these files, then it should just work straight out of the box here. So let's just quickly open this up. So I, you can do code dot, but if it doesn't work for you, then just open up Visual Studio Code. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to press new and then write initial.md. And then go to the example here, control A, control C, control A, control V, paste this in here. You can save it, so it's saved. You need to understand with Visual Studio Code, if there's a little white circle here, it means that it's not saved, so you have to do control S for the file changes you make to actually happen, basically. Okay, so let's use open router. So let's just say I want to build an HTML, CSS, JavaScript, open router, AI project. Um, use fast API as the backend. Use Docker to um, create the project so you can test. Uh, create a simple logical keyword tool that uses, let's say GPT-5 to, um, and an input of a business URL. There are two main prompts. It's a logical SEO tool that generates a business summary based off web search use open routers web search feature and then generates pillar pages that would logically make sense for that business summary and then generate sub pillar pages that make sense for that pillar page and then display the sub pillars as blog post topics and then this is the important part i want you to create a stylistic um unique theme that isn't just the same as all of the other bootstrap and boring projects but instead has more about it and looks stunning and I want 30 SEO pages that make sense for this tool that can bring organic SEO to this site. You absolutely must create 30 detailed pages and not just create one or two as an example. Okay, so because we're using a new model here, I'm also just going to change a few things about um, inside the Claude MD. So I'm just going to say um, context window, and I'm going to say you have 1 million tokens of context. Do not feel rushed. Do not feel like you have to uh, complete things by half, but instead complete the entire task at hand from start to finish without placeholder code creating an entire workable and production ready project full stop. Okay, so we'll just put that in Claude.md and then we need to put documentation here. So we need to put documentation links. As far as I can see, there's only one documentation link, which is open router. Uh, so we'll do open router docs and we'll find that. There we go. And we'll just put that here. And then we'll tell it what database to use. So use, uh, what's it called? MySQL uh, as the database. Allow people to register with their email and password. 
or username, let's just say, because it's just easier, username and password. And then we do actually need to get the Playwright MCP here as well. Okay, so there is this document, guys. You can find this document in the description of the video completely for free. Um, I'm going to use my school community just because it has the most up-to-date um, prompt. Um, so let's just go classroom. Uh, I think it's here. Context engineering template. Yeah, perfect. So this is my most up-to-date prompt here. Um, and also I do need to install Playwright. So let's just do that as well. Okay, so let's run the command to install Playwright. You can find this in the document for your system. And then let's just save this. Okay, do I need anything else? I can get rid of that. And I can get rid of that. So save that. Okay, that should be good to go. So let's write Claude dangerously. I'm oh, sorry, dash dash dangerously dash skip dash permissions. Okay, nothing pops up that the MCP is not working. Perfect. Let's go back to the school community. Okay, let's run that. Oh, okay, wait, the API key for Gina. I always forget about this. So file, new private window. Go to Gina.ai. I use Gina just because it's so simple like, and you don't even like you just click API here and then copy here and you have an API key. Sorry, wrong API keys. This one and then also I actually I need an open router key as well. So let's just grab that. And then one actual one thing that we've got to do is let's do slash log out here and then Claude. Oh, let me just press up. So I'm going to log in here. I'm going to use API. So Anthropic. Uh, consult account so i'll select the account i want to use and then authorize this okay press enter here press enter uh sure okay so this is we should be able to model um what is it and then we'd run slash model sonnet one mil oh my god i'll show you that again wait so it's model sonnet bracket one mil and then if i say hi this should respond to me and it should be using the latest model okay so let's put the first prompt here this has a million context so my idea here is just to just let it go absolutely crazy and just let it code for like an hour two hours that's kind of my plan whether it'll do that or not that's kind of what i'm trying to work out whether that's prompting or mcp like what i'm thinking is every time or maybe a hook or something when it tries to deliver the final project i want it to like reread the initial .md or the prp or whatever and then just decide based off that whether it's actually implemented everything that it said it would implement okay so it's finished reading the instructions now we can do generate dash prp initial .md and then hit enter so this will then actually start to do the research needed Okay, so as you can see here, it's now scraping each of the pages of the documentation that are required. Specifically, the web search is important, and it actually puts these files here for later use. If I go to web search, okay, so that one didn't work. It should work soon. There we go. So yeah, as you can see here, it now knows that you can put online after any model, and the model becomes an online model. Okay, so I skipped a lot of that research because, like, I don't think Claude Code really needs to research Docker. Like, it just doesn't need to. It knows how to use Docker. It knows how to use Fast API. It knows how to use MySQL. This one might have been useful, but, like, fuck it. Like, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so the PRP was actually extremely quick. Like, I'm moving at lightning speed here. It says GPT-5. Perfect. So I'm going to do, uh, was it execute dash PRP? And then the name is here so i'll just copy this and i'm going to add some custom instructions here just because it's, like i've talked about before i like to remind it one more time you have one million context window you have the context to create a full production ready app as well as full end-to-end -end testing using playwright do not come back to me until every single part of the PRP has been done 
to perfection and I have a fully fledged app ready to go to production. And then we'll hit enter. So this is the real test. Like if it gets to the point where Claude Code can just do this, like it's gonna be pretty interesting to see, to be honest with you. Now I'm not gonna record a lot of this. I'm just gonna come back when it says it's done and we'll see how done it really is, right? That's kind of what I wanna know here. Okay guys, so we have our first little look. That's League of Legends in the background. You can ignore that guys, don't worry about that. We have our first little look at the website. It looks good. It looks uh, different, like, compared to a lot of normal stuff that's created. Let's see if everything actually works, right? So, okay, well, that was quick. What the fuck just happened there? Did you guys see that? Just use the all the MCPs at the same time. It just filled everything in at the same time. That was pretty crazy. Okay, so we have a user. We're logged in. Let's see if it actually works. It's taking loads of screenshots. This is crazy. Okay, so it's given us a pretty good website, um, but obviously there's some issues here. It didn't actually test if it worked, but it does look really, really nice, to be honest with you. Okay, so we actually have a fully fledged working tool. That's actually crazy. Oh, it just got rid of that, which is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, it works, which is super, super nice. This is the first time that I managed to just run it and not had any real issues now. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say, guys. It's getting to the point where you can one-shot basically anything, especially with this million context window. I haven't had to run a slash compact once. I'm still using the exact same context as I was at the very, very beginning of this video, right? So I'll just run this again. And yeah, to be fair to it, it has given me a full production-ready application that works. Um, can you hook up the SEO pages you said they weren't hooked up so i think once it's uh, hooked up the seo pages i actually think it might have made not only a fully functioning app but also a fully self promoting app using organic seo that's kind of what i'm going for here and yeah just the whole project looks really really good that original prompt that i used where i said make it look a little bit different to the normal bootstrap that it uses I just wanted it to kind of be careful and make it not look exactly the same. But the actual AI part of the tool works. Now it's restarting the back end again, so this is gonna fail. We can maybe have a quick look here. Okay, interesting, yeah. Here we go, this is what we wanted. Beautiful, look at that, here's the keywords. Oh my God, it works perfectly. It works better than I expected, honestly. Oh, look at that as well. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, that's crazy. Okay, it has the SEO pages, they have no styling, but it's pretty much done everything I asked it to do. Just would need a little bit more work, a little bit more prompting. But yeah, overall, incredible update from Claude. I still have enough context to you know, build a whole nother one of these, which is the crazy thing. But I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.